Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And today there, well, not today, but there was an announcement a few days ago that Invisalign will be launching the 3D printed expanders for Invisalign first. I know I've been mentioning this and um, letting you guys know for over a year because I do read their patents and I do know what they're doing with clinical trials. So I know what's on the horizon. So I've been very excited about this. Obviously, this is not a picture of it because I do not have a picture that I can legally use. However, in my blogs, I will link the um, press release, the official press release from Align Technology so you can see what they look like. Um, it literally looks like a Schwartz expander without the screw. Um, just the the whole palette is covered. So I mean, obviously the oral myofunctional therapists are not gonna like this. So it does not have a jack screw. It's just a 3D printed plate that clips, somehow clips into the aligner. So you're wearing the aligner. I'm assuming you're wearing the aligner and the expander at the same time. Maybe they're just doing the expander first, which is just a plate that's worn um, and changed daily, I believe. I believe it's daily, if not, it's weekly, um, just like an aligner um, initially. And I guess because it's 3D printed, you know, each one is slightly bigger than the next and it's worn full time. It is, it actually does skeletal expansion and not dental tipping because it's palate borne and not tooth borne. So you, as you can see, there's a few bits and pieces I have not worked out yet. So what else? So in addition, I do know it's only going to be available with Invisalign first, which I, interesting. I don't love because we all know we can get palatal expansion in teens. It doesn't have to be Invisalign first. And I use Invisalign first on like little, little kids, you know, um, like two to two alignment, upper and lower. Um, but you can totally do palatal expansion on 11 year olds, 12 year olds, 13 year olds, and sometimes even 14 year old and 15 year old boys, sometimes depending, and you have to watch all the rest of my videos on palatal expansion if you want to understand more about timing and everything. And these would definitely be comprehensive cases. So I'm a little confused as to why they're only offering it with Invisalign first, but perhaps they're trying to keep a tight hand because they know that those patients will still be growing and they can't control the growth issue with the older patients. So they're only letting you use it with the younger patients. So, I mean, I get the point. So, you know, you can still always do an expander separately and then do Invisalign. We do this all the time, I'm doing this for dozens of years. So nothing wrong with that. It's just an additional lab fee, right? It, so it's, and it's not part of the Invisalign brand. So, I mean, it's nice if you're paying for the Invisalign brand to do it at the same time, I get the point. So, but yeah, right now it's gonna get more people to do Invisalign first. I know a lot of us are just doing Invisalign comprehensive and just waiting a little longer, doing that expander first and then just knocking it all out. A lot of people do phase one and phase two treatment within the Invisalign comprehensive five-year window. It's totally doable. Let's say the patient is 10. You do the expander, let them settle, let the bite settle, retain it, take it out. Um, and then you go ahead and finish your phase one. You wait maybe six months, a year, and then you're ready for comprehensive, but you only have one lab fee. Uh -huh. People do it all the time. So I think they're being smart. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.